Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of August 16, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological week. And look, there is a lot going on, but really, for a lot of us out there, it is all about the Leo new moon. The new moon will take place right around Wednesday, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And it is this new moon that I think is going to give us a little bit of a break to show us that sometimes Mars and this Mars retrograde season doesn't have to be all stressful. And I know I say that with some caution. This Mars retrograde season has been a doozy for a lot of people out there. It's been challenging for a lot of people out there. But sometimes Mars can really come through for us in remarkable and important ways. Mars, after all, is about empowerment and owning your power. Well, the fact that this new moon is happening hand in hand with Mercury and speaking in supreme harmony with Mars, well, it does tell me that on the one hand, a lot of us are going to be fired up. We are owning our power, our light. We are determined to shine. And that determination is lending itself to action. It is the actions we take, the willingness in some way to put ourselves out there. Think about the sun. The sun is the ruling planet of the sign of Leo. The sun is undeniable. It shines bright. It is always there, right? Every day we know that the sun will shine, even if it's behind clouds or rain, whatever the case may be, the sun will be there. And there is a lot of power and actually peace in understanding that there is this eternal light that is reliable day in and day out. And that light is within each of us. And we are asked with Leo energy to own our light, to claim our right to shine and to understand where it is that we might be royalty in our own right as well. Where is it that we can own the authority that we have and to use it wisely and to use it from a heart centered place with love. Well, that is when we are accessing Leo energy in the highest sense. New moons are all about new beginnings, fresh understandings, fresh prospects, new chapters, and where it is that we are willing to tap into the power of our heart and allow that light, that shine to come from the heart and out into the world we too own our own undeniability. It is evident. Those people who own their light and who find the peace of the sharing and the shining of it, well, there is a certain peace that radiates from them. With Mars, it is about taking action. And as you know, as I talk about from time to time, look, Mars at each of the planets really is deeply spiritual, is deeply sacred. The glyphs of each of the planets are rooted in a deeply spiritual understanding. They are mystical symbols in their own right. And so with Mars, we have the circle that represents self-containment, self-knowledge, the arrow arising from that place of self-knowledge, action taken with intention, with that clarity of self is action that is most strong. The fact that we've got this beautiful trine not just to the new moon, but in the days leading up to the new moon, Sunday and Monday, we are going to have the sun meeting Mercury in the sky. And both of these planets are reaching out to Mars as well. This is energy we're bringing into this week and will only magnify and lend itself to that shift of energy once we navigate to that new moon. And so all of us in one way or another are being asked to look at what we understand as power and to be wise with the power that we do have. We're being asked to understand what it means to know thyself and to live from that place of truth. And we are being asked with this Leo energy, this Leo new moon to align mind with Mercury, with mind, with heart. And in that alignment to know with intention, we truly can be a force in our sphere of influence and a force within the world. Where it is that we need courage or bravery to own our very light, I think this new moon is gonna help tremendously. Now, what I find especially intriguing is under the light of the new moon, or rather in the dark of the moon, 
uh, just a day before we are going to have Venus in aspect to Uranus in harmony. This is a type of conversation that astrologers call a sextile and it represents opportunity, yes, but also, especially given the nature of Venus, this is quick blessings. Now, this to me is about romantic surprises, breakthroughs where it comes to our understanding of love and self-love, what our own value is. This is also a very social energy as well, but it's helping us to get to a deeper sense of connection in surprising ways. Venus, of course, is in the sign of Cancer, speaking to the planet Uranus. And so this beautiful, harmonious alignment, even though these planets with Venus in a water sign, with Uranus in an earth sign, might not seem to be connected to all that fire energy playing out simultaneously, the fact that they are happening simultaneously is part of the perfection of the universe. It is reminding us that we are not a law unto ourselves. It is affirming to us that feelings and practicality can bring breakthroughs that sometimes being a law unto ourselves might not, or at least might not as easily. Venus, of course, is gracious. And so those personal connections, the way in which we can make other people feel at home, the surprising ways we do that can equally be part of the changes and the progress that this new moon promises. In fact, they can work together. Yes, we can know ourselves. We can be connected to heart. We can be connected to our power. All of that solar energy, that Mars energy with Mercury, we can know our mind and we can direct our mind. But at the same time, when we allow ourselves to know what it is we feel and to be honest about what we feel, well, that can lend itself to some truly fortunate events, least of which is that we end up making meaningful connections, that it isn't just about us and that the ego finds healthy expression. When we're honest about what we feel, when we're willing to be vulnerable in surprising ways, then the false ego has ways of falling away. And so what's the difference? Well, it is the false ego that has something to prove that wants the validation, but it is the higher self of the ego that speaks to healthy self-value. And yes, that you are worthy of your own care, your own value, your own respect. These are all ways that healthy ego is able to be experienced. I think about this idea of how we all have something that we are here to shine and to share. We all are worthy of being seen. Acknowledging that we all have that light, that is where healthy ego steps in because it allows us to own our own magnificence and to allow it to come forward with that much more ease, that much more joy. And I think that that is part of what this early part of the week is wanting to inspire within us. Yes, own your power, be enthusiastic, go for what you want, and also remember your own feelings can surprise you and other people's feelings can delight you. And it is through meaningful connections that things can change very quickly and to your advantage. Now, once we navigate into the second part of the week, the energy is going to begin to change. On Wednesday, it will be Mercury that moves into its home sign of Virgo. Now, this is very interesting because Mercury really likes to be in the sign of Virgo. Mercury is able to bring forward its very best qualities. The ancients called Mercury in Virgo exalted. So just like the word, right? It is able to be high. It is able to bring that much more of its higher self and very best qualities, uh, being analytical, being insightful, being communicative, choosing your words, being articulate. These are all ways we understand the gifts of Mercury to be. Now, at the same time, simply having Mercury exalted, that in and of itself is a wonderful energy to utilize where it is that you might be a teacher or a writer, uh, or it is that you share in some way, you share ideas. Well, it is gonna be this time that allows us to develop ideas, 
to decide what it is we want to share, anything from a lesson plan to maybe even speaking more spontaneously. We are that much easier to bring forward words, to show ourselves our mental acuity, uh, our communication ability in a way that helps us to feel like we're representing something honest and something true. Now on Friday, the sun will move into the sign of Virgo. And what that means is the end of Leo season, as fabulous as that is, right? And as fabulous as that new moon can be, Leo season will come to an end as all seasons do and another season begins, which is the Virgo season. Happy birthday to all the Virgos out there. And so this is a buildup of energy that is starting to take place in the sign of Virgo. Now, I actually think all of the signs are deeply sacred, have deep spiritual lessons for us. One of the most important spiritual lessons of the sign of Virgo has to do with the sacredness of our smallest moments and understanding that it is the embodied experience where life can take place. It is Virgo energy that invites us to consider what we repeatedly do. Whatever it is that we do again and again, we become an expert at simply through repetition. It is in Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Outliers, where he talks about the 10,000 hour theory. He says anything you can do for 10,000 hours or anything you do for 10,000 hours, you can consider yourself an expert at. And so it is the Virgo energy that reflects this, that represents this in the Zodiac. It is the Virgo energy that says, be willing to do it repeatedly, be willing to do it again and again, if only for its own sake, if only for the process that mastery requires. Remember, anything you do for 10,000 hours, you are an expert. So if you wanna be an expert, if you wanna be really good at something, really it's putting in the time. And it is being willing to do it again and to try it again and to see where it is that each effort takes you, each journey takes you. The simple act of being willing to walk the path for long enough, you will arrive at expertise, you will arrive at mastery. And when you engage that path with intention, you accelerate the journey that much more. You make the most of the journey towards mastery that much more. Now, I do wanna give you a heads up. It is gonna be next month, right? September, right around the corner, if you can believe it. 2020 ain't anywhere near done, as I spoke of uh, in the Mars Retrograde Season Special Horoscope. I will link to it below. 2028 anywhere near done. Having said that, though, it is going to be in September that the Sun and Mercury are going to be making beautiful alignments with other power players. My goodness, everything can change and anything can change for the better. Yeah, we're still gonna have Mars retrograde season. That's part of the package, right? Mars retrograde season is more intense this month in the month of August. We've got some intensity coming up next week, but we'll take it one day at a time. I'll talk about it when we get there. And the intensity is gonna kick up again once we get to the very end of September, beginning of October. Again, as I spoke of in the Mars retrograde season. But in the middle there, we've got this time, right? Mars is gonna go retrograde around September 9th, yes. But we have all this beautiful energy of these Virgo planets speaking with Uranus and then moving on, speaking to the triple conjunction in Capricorn. To me, this energy is deeply transformative. It is empowering. It is inviting us to honor our incarnation to think about what we are embodying, what we are living. It is inviting us to recognize the sacredness of our lived experience. And it is inviting us to embrace where it is we have developed mastery, but also where it is that we desire to. And it is in embracing that journey that our results can be accelerated, but so can the acknowledgement so can be the recognition. So again, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way, but I think the start of Virgo season is something I'm really looking forward to a lot. <laughs> I think it'll be a lovely, uh, a lovely way to manifest something new, something better, and something real. 
What I love about this week for us, well, it is that sense of the possible of what's next. You know, I can be so big picture, I know. So let me bring it back to this week. What do I love about this particular week? These coming days will look. There's a lot. We've got that beautiful Venusian energy speaking with Uranus. Now, Venus can be so sensual and she's in Cancer. So that adds so much emotion. And then we've got Uranus. Uranus is all cerebral. It is all about the ideas and the electricity. Electricity waves are covered by Uranus as well. But these two planets are speaking in harmony, which does suggest a sense of love being lifted in some way, of us being freed of where emotion can drag us down and instead allow our feelings to lend themselves to lifting our spirits. At the same time though, the star of the show is the Leo new moon and all the energy leading up to that and that tells me that a lot of us out there are on the verge of a breakthrough that is about and characterized by empowerment. And it is a statement of empowerment to own your light, to know that you are worthy of shining and being seen. Well, really that inner work and then that Mars says, act from that place, well, we all benefit and only good things can follow. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It helps the channel out so much. It means so much to me, thank you. And of course, if you wanna know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you and your sign, log on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week. Unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. I have books. Let me tell you, you've got four days left. Four days left to pre-order your copy on Amazon in order to get $70 worth of free gifts. So this is the universe is wise and loving the nodes of the moon in astrology. What a privilege it is to have written this, uh, to have people respond to it because advanced copies went out a while ago. People posted on social media are continuing to post and they're telling me how much they love the book. And that means so very much to me. The ebook version is available for pre-order through Amazon only. And it is until August 20th that if you pre-order and you forward us the receipt using the uh, contact form on my website, that on August 22nd, when the book is officially released, not only an ebook version, but in hard copy version as well, that's coming August 22nd, that is when you will get free gifts. And those free gifts are two classes that I have done on the nodes information that isn't specifically in this book. And so we have one uh, class that looks at the shift between the Capricorn Cancer axis and into the Gemini Sagittarius axis and what it means for you and your sign, because we went through each of the signs. Well, I taught that way back in the late spring. That shift took place way back in the late spring. And so you'll be able to catch up and see what this transit is gonna mean for you and your sign. And then I did teach a class with Synchronicity University, and that class was about understanding the ruling planets of the North Node, where it is in your chart, what that's gonna mean for you and your sign and in your natal chart specifically. And so that class is free too. So you get $70 worth of classes free just by getting your ebook version of this, which is anywhere between seven and nine ninety five, like it's within that range, which is an amazing deal. And I hope that again, not only do you get the free gifts, but you get a book that I hope you'll benefit from, that you'll love, that you'll use. The first two chapters are kind of like my manifesto, why I think astrology matters so much. I mean, I talk about astrology as a spiritual revolution. Um, and I talk about why I understand the nodes as love and wisdom. It is a different approach than some astrologers may take, but of course this is my work and this is my authentic expression. And I hope that this book 
helps you to see the sky with eyes of greater love and greater wisdom. So that is the universe is wise and loving and links is in the description below. So that is very exciting. And of course, while you're on Amazon, you may want to pick up, pick up one of my other books, The Body and the Cosmos and Prayers to the Sky and Astrology Realized. So those are my other books as well. And I hope you absolutely love them. Now I have another huge announcement. I am so excited about this announcement. I, I cannot say it enough. For the very first time ever as part of Synchronicity University, I will be hosting a speaker series. Now, the reason I'm doing this, really what started it was that I had students reaching out to me and saying, can you teach about this? Can you teach about that? I'm always very open to seeing what my students want me to teach. And there were certain topics where I felt that, you know what, I know people who really understand this topic much more deeply and really could do a much better service to my students. And so I reached out to some of those people. I reached out to a couple of big dogs as well uh, that I thought would just add so much to the experience of a speaker series. And here we are. You only have 15 days till the end of the month to take advantage of the sliding scale of tuition as low as $5 a class, which is pretty amazing. Really unheard of with this caliber of speakers that I'm so excited to celebrate with you. So let's talk about the big dogs, okay? Colin Bedell of Queer Cosmos. I love Colin. He is insightful and wise and beautiful and loving, but an incredible astrologer. And he has a huge following online as well. Uh, truly a mover and shaker in astrology now today and he is going to be teaching about relational astrology so he's going to be giving this whole other perspective on understanding relationships the other big dog that i'm so excited to have is mecca woods mecca woods has this incredible resume again she really has this incredible voice in astrology when you see her she has this presence she has this charisma that is undeniable She's so beautiful inside and out. And she's gonna be teaching about the upcoming transit of Jupiter in Pisces. So in the spring of 2021, we're gonna get a little taste of Jupiter in Pisces. And then in December of 2021, Jupiter is gonna move into Pisces into 2022 she's going to be talking about that transit like how lucky are we it's the first time she's teaching about this maybe one of the first times like right about now where everybody's talking about 2020 they're talking about 2021 to actually teach about jupiter in pisces and also this caliber of astrologer uh is really very special so i hope that you will check that out we also have the incredible april from cosmic homegirl you've seen her on my channel she's such a great astrologer like i know that she reaches thousands and thousands of people with her work but she's so amazing that i think she should be reaching hundreds of thousands of people with her work i really think she's one of the best astrologers out there right now i love her work and i'm really excited to share what she does with you as well she's going to be talking about age of aquarius uh, we also have my dear friend that you've seen on my channel michael barwick now he is actually the reason this whole thing is happening because michael barwick he knows fixed stars and the number one thing i was asked about from my students fixed stars they want to learn about fixed stars and I knew if anybody's gonna teach it, if I'm gonna do my students justice, I gotta let Michael teach this class. So that's what he's gonna be teaching on, fixed stars, he's taught on it before, um, and he's so brilliant. Like, if you have seen the video we did together, you understand why I love him so much. Uh, he is a dear, dear friend of mine. When you reach out to me, like if you've ever emailed me, and you've asked for a referral because you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation with an astrologer, he is the top person that I recommend. He's the first person I recommend. There are a couple of other amazing astrologers out there as well that I do recommend, but he is my astrologer. Like he's one of the people, if something's happening in my life, in my chart, he's one of the people I always go to. Um, he's that good and he's that loving and he's 
He's just incredible. So I'm really excited to celebrate him with you. Now, another person you've also met on my channel, the fifth and final speaker. Well, that is Quan Tracy Cherry. And Quan is uh, somebody that you met when I uh, hosted a conversation of some of the speakers from the Queer Astrology Conference. All of the people that I met as part of that uh, conference call that I did with us together, they were so brilliant. Each one of them I just loved so much. Uh, Quan was one of those speakers. He is an attorney by trade. Uh, he is so magnetic. Like he is at this place where I'm just so glad and grateful to have him at this moment because I just know that his career is about to take off and zoom into the sky. And I get to be one of the first people to say I shared him, even though I know that the people at Queer Astrology got to do that as well. So maybe I can't say I'm the first, but I get to share him with you and that's pretty exciting. And he's gonna be teaching on Uranus in Taurus. So brilliant topics brilliant astrologers this is the speaker series you can get a class pass for as low as just five dollars a class which i think may be one of the only times you'll get to hear this caliber of speakers for that low a price a limited number of scholarships are available as well and so i will link to it in the description below i hope that you will join me classes will take place live Wednesday evenings EST, Wednesday 6 p.m. EST is when I will be hosting and these wonderful people are gonna come on. They're gonna teach for 75 minutes. I will get out of the way. I will not be on camera. And then I'm gonna come on and I am going to host 15 minutes of Q&A to ask follow-up questions, uh, to have that interaction. And please know that all of these speakers, they have my vote. <laughs> they are just so brilliant. Uh, I, I can't tell you enough how grateful I am to be at this place where I can actually share people with you. And, um, and this is a dream come true, really, is what it goes down to. I had a vision of this. I wanted to do this for so long. And the fact that it's now come together and this caliber of astrologers, oh, it just, it just fills me with so much gratitude and happiness and excitement. So please join me for this very first of its kind venture speaker series with Synchronicity University and learn from some of the most brilliant astrologers alive today. And I look forward to meeting you in class. Now, if you just can't get enough classes, I'm going to be teaching in the autumn session as well, part one and two. Uh, I will be teaching Saturday afternoons as I do throughout the fall and we're gonna have a lot of fun. There are four classes out of 10 that are focused on tarot for astrologers. That has been proving to be super popular. Thank you so much to everybody who's been signing up. Your trust and your curiosity, it all means so much to me. Tarot is very near and dear to my heart, so I'm excited to teach it to you. I also have two classes on Lilith in the astrology chart. Uh, very commonly asked uh, of me to teach that class. So I'm excited to share my love of Lilith with you as well. She is a power in the sky and I know a lot of astrologers just love her. And so I'm very excited to share my perspective on Lilith in the astrology chart. Of course, we look at the myth and then we look at how that applies. Um, Mercury in the astrology chart and the moon in the astrology chart. So that's what we're gonna be covering and again until the end of the month so 15 days left to get that very low rate of just five dollars a class it's a sliding scale you pay what you can as low as five dollars a class just until august 31st so before i used to like just have that in the first week or two of announcing the class but i understand that we are sort of in these times where uh, having access to online content, it means that much more, especially in a year like this. And so if I can be part of you being able to nurture your curiosity and expand your spirit, connect with your own spiritual power in some way, I'm so grateful and happy to do that. So again, limited number of scholarships are gonna be available as well. Links to all of the Synchronicity University classes that I've shared, the speaker series and the autumn sessions, part one and two. Links are in the descriptions below. 
And of course, if you would like my interpretation of your unique birth chart, check out my partnership with Cosmogram. Uh, you can go onto the Cosmogram website, link is in the description below. You type in your uh, birth data and within hours you will get a PDF download that features my interpretation of the different planetary aspects in your unique birth chart. This is a project that I took on hand in hand with Cosmogram that's been so popular. It's gotten so much incredible feedback and I hope you absolutely love it. There was a beautiful young lady named Ashanti who was here in Cancun. She reached out to me and said, hey, can I meet you? And I said, of course you can. Uh, and so we met and she actually had ordered that and she said some lovely things about that. So I will share that somewhere on my social media. I'll try to share that in my stories in YouTube. I've been using stories in YouTube lately. And so I'll try to share that there. I'll share that in Instagram stories as well. But she gave this personal testimonial as to how much she resonated with uh, this reading that she got of my interpretation of her chart through Cosmogram. And it makes a great gift. It makes a great download. It makes a great uh, journey of self-discovery to understand how I would interpret your birth chart. It's right there on PDF for you to save and treasure forever. So link is in the description below. Finally, I do wanna send you a very quick reminder. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that every year I only do two sales. One sale is of course the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. A sale happens then, but the biggest sale is only once a year and it is 24 hours and that's it. And that happens September 1st of every year. That is my anniversary as a full-time astrologer. And so this year I will be celebrating in 15 days from the time this week begins, I will be celebrating 14 years as a full-time astrologer. It's been an incredible journey with you all. Uh, 12 years on YouTube, almost 12 years on YouTube. So it's been amazing to grow with you, to evolve with you, or if you're brand new, this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you for being here as well. I didn't wake up like this, it didn't happen overnight. It happened over a period of time. Talk about putting in your 10,000 hours. And so yes, anniversary sale, it always has the biggest discounts that are offered and they really are substantial. Now, if you are a superstar, make sure you're following the links specifically in the newsletter that goes out to you uh, because superstars are on their own newsletter list and that will feature even deeper discounts as well. One thing I will be doing that is unique this year is that I will be featuring an opportunity to get a free download to a class. And so if you wanna learn how to do that, well, you gotta sign up for my newsletter because once the newsletter goes out, the sale begins and sale and links and information, all of that is normally only available in the newsletter. So go to my homepage, nadiashaw.com, scroll down and you will see newsletter sign up there. Just sign up for my newsletter. You'll get a confirmation, you'll be good to go and the big sale is happening September 1st, and I am really looking forward to sharing uh, these opportunities for not only big discounts, but also free products as well. So I look forward to celebrating my anniversary with you. And thank you, thank you so much for this moment. Thank you for the, the amazing privilege of having this incredible life and being able to share what I love. You know, right now I am doing with Kepler College YouTube for astrologer class and the group of students is incredible. They are such an amazing group. I know that I will be featuring a whole lot of them on my channel in the coming months. Um, just the light is so bright, but more for me to be able to be a mentor to the up and coming astrologers and spiritual people. It means so much to me. And I have been realizing as I've been teaching them because the class size was limited and now there's a wait list because the class became full, it sold out. And that was so that I could have that interaction, that one-on-one -on -one alliance. But it was very powerful and is very powerful to me to realize how much I've learned, how much I have to share, you know, how much guidance I can actually give uh, based on my experiences, being a, a full-time astrologer for 14 years now, 
being on YouTube for 12 years now. So again, whether you've just found me or whether I've been part of your journey since the very beginning or an extended amount of time, thank you. Just thank you. I'm always very grateful around this time, but I'm generally a grateful person. <laughs> that happens with Moon and Sag. So yeah, thank you. And thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I was very happy to give some good news this week. Next week, it's going to get tough again. We have Mars squaring Saturn. That's going to be intense. So, you know, you make the best of it. But I think that all of these transits, honestly, I feel like this year is about knowing your truth. It really just comes down to that. Your truth is undeniable. And, you know, this is the great pause, even with people interacting and places opening up, but still social distancing. There is something within us that understands isolation and are isolating and have been isolating. And it is only in that space, right? Owning the hermit, if you understand the tarot, each of the tarot cards is a part of us as well. And it is when we own our inner hermit that we're able to connect with truth. That is the point of silence. That is the point of isolation and space. And so, I do feel like this is a year of truth. Mars has to do with truth. And so here we are, right? Each of us realizing something about ourselves and being asked to live in alignment with it. And it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of bravery. And I think this Mars retrograde season, it is about owning that very power to be our authentic selves and to live from that place, to take action from that place. That is the great courage that we are being called on to bring forward, to own, and to demonstrate. And so whatever part I can be in your ownership of your power, I am so grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.